Oh boy. Boop, boop. Check it out. What happened? So, this was last week. I'm laying inside and I'm thinking, watch, this is why your thoughts become thing and you have to be so careful. Oh boy, you have to be so careful with it. I got a Jeep that I'm going, that I, I, that I, I have to sell, you know. And, um, and I'm laying there and I was thinking, yeah, I remember when I changed the water pump in the Jeep, you know, it's been like 10 years, something like that. That's all. And I'm holding on good. It's real good. You know, that's it. I go out the next day. I turn it on. The water pump's leaking everywhere. But it wasn't leaking at, at all. It was not leaking at all. That's why you got to be careful with your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your future. They create your tomorrow. They create the next second of your life because there's no such thing as time. And this works with anything, people. The more we we concentrate on problems and on, on what we don't like, the more fuel we give it for it to manifest more and more and more and more into our lives. And that's what it is right there. So, yeah, I'm uh, changing that water pump. I already took it off. But again, it was perfect. I, I look, I'm, I put my life on this. Nothing was perfect. I checked it. I said, okay, I'm going to put it for sale. It's perfect. Next day, I'm laying there just thinking about when I did that job. The water pump, because the water pump was leaking. And What made me think of such a thing? Did I manifest that when that pump was not leaking? Or would the, the, the universe tell me, hey, your pump is uh, about to start leaking when you go start the truck, the Jeep up? Again, people... This works with anything. If you think that you are no good, then the universe is going to give you that. It's going to give you that. It's going to give it to you in your life. Six durations that's going to make you feel that you are no good. This is what I, I, I tell people. You're trying to manifest a person or anything. You got to have a positive mind. You got to stop thinking negative and low about yourself. And no matter what, look, it doesn't matter if you are a Christian, Jewish, a Muslim, or Buddhist. I study all the religions. I'm everything. I'm everything. And it doesn't matter. If you have a negative mentality, then you will create negative outcome. That's the secret. The secret is... The feelings that you hold inside when you are creating this, when you are asking for what you want. And we don't, the, a lot of people think we ask with our voice. Right now, if that was the truth, and we ask, with, with, we go, give me a soda, give me this. You see, there's no feeling. There's an upper feeling and there's a lower feeling. The gut feeling is like when you, know, you get a gut feeling and you don't like a person. Exactly. You know, when you think of something and but you got a gut feeling, like like a low feeling, like I can't have it because of this. You see, you're feeling it right here on the bottom. No, but when you feel the joy, you like no matter what. That's faith. That's faith. Having that joy, believing, you know, no matter what, no matter what, it's going to be okay. That or something better. Universe F250 or F350. As long as diesel with a 6.7, boom, I'm happy with that. Boom, I let it go. Don't bring me a Chevy. <laughs> I only do Ford. Ford trucks only. And that's it. I put it out there to the universe. That's it. You see, I got the upper feeling right here. Because I know that the, the universe, the creator, the almighty, whatever, the, the source that made us, is going to give me what's best for me. Because I'm putting it with a positive energy. The same thing. If you're in a relationship and you start thinking negative, maybe they're cheating. Maybe she's cheating. Maybe they're cheating. Maybe they did it. Then it has to come because you are putting that and you're putting it with that emotion feeling, you know, that uh, you know how you feel. Like, well, how would you think by now you're in a relationship and you just think that maybe your spouse is out there and then and then they're doing something, you know, doing doing wrong behind your back. You just get that. Uh, that uh, you see that feeling and that thought it's going to manifest because you're putting a feeling with it. Put love with it. 
Put love with what you want. Be grateful. And, and, and just, just again, be grateful for what you got. That I, I'm always grateful. You know, I sit back and I say, you know, I got clothes on and I just ate. And I send all blessings out to all the people in the world. That they have plenty of food and, and plenty. Plenty of everything they need and they have peace and love. I always send that out to the world with that feeling. Always. That's how you give love to the world. You do it with the feeling. The upper feeling of pure love. Try it. Watch how your life will start changing. Something goes bad. Say, it's okay. Everything is going to be okay. It's just That's just claiming an obstacle for something amazing that's about to come. Bless it and watch. Bless it. I don't care if you want to bless it in the name of Jesus or Muhammad or Allah, Hashem, God, Dios, whatever you want to call it. In the end, there's only one creator. Oh my. Thanks for watching. Share my video and subscribe. And you can see I'm kind of down, right? Let's just say that the, the universe knows when my time is up. Thanks for watching. This is my kill.